Researchers in Australia claim that the effect of strobe lights on seahorses are negligible and they have no more impact than the mere presence of scuba divers. So this new study is apparently the first of its kind to investigate the combined pathomorphological and behavioral impacts of photographer behavior and photographic flashes on animals. So they found out that fish are unaffected by a flash because they're naturally equipped to cope with the ripple effect caused by sunlight focusing through waves, which results in short but intense bands of light. Yeah, now that changes the beginning of Finding Nemo now, doesn't it? Poor old, yeah, poor old Marlin. Yeah, he, he could have, I don't know, chased after Nemo. At the same time, the team that was carrying out uh, that research, they also tested to see if physically manipulating animals during photography has an effect. And of course it does. So yes, you can only look, but you know, no touching, okay? And I'm looking at you, Cheryl, no touching. Um, just kidding. Uh, repeat, touching of animals and coral at dive sites will, of course, lead to stressing the little fish out, which of course could then lead to them dying. So, you know, just don't, and you know, shame to anyone that does. So what does all of this have to do with seahorses? Well, in a lot of dive resorts in Asia and even in the UK, there are heavy restrictions on using strobes on seahorses for the fear that it will blind them. Even though that was, you know, there was no real strong evidence that seahorses do go blind from a flash, but the powers that be thought, you know what, let's be safer than sorry, which, yeah, you know what, to be honest, makes a lot of sense. Um, now, of course, we're not condoning you to go out with strobes and whatnot, so, so don't go crazy, but if you've been beating yourself up because you set your flash to auto and flashed a seahorse that one time, then you know what, you can give yourself a pass. Um, the research team tested their theory on 13 different species of seahorses in Southeast Asia. They did several tests on the seahorses, um, and then unfortunately, sadly, they had to euthanize them after the experiment uh, to see what effect the flashes might have had on their eyes. Uh, this practice was pretty much condemned by everyone, but you know, science, uh, they gotta do that kind of stuff. Uh, I really don't think they enjoyed it. Um, the UK Seahorse Trust called this test an appalling piece of work and it would have never or it would have been thrown out even before it had began in the UK due to cruelty. Yeah. Um, so now yes, killing any animal really isn't any good, it's not right, but the researchers results are kind of interesting. It turns out that the flashes had no effect on all of the seahorses in any of their tests, proving that their research was actually right. Uh, but what do you guys think about the test? Were the researchers cruel during these tests? Did they need to kill the poor little seahorses afterwards? Should we lift the flash bands on seahorses or you know what, just kind of keep it quiet and uh, you know, keep the bands as it is? Let's have a chat about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.